by many believers are dead because they are released to the level of his blessings on your life or on your way to the grave. As God has blessed everyone, even so, let him give. To the same level, let him give. So he can stay alive. That's why many believers are dead. Because they are keeping more than is required. And so they start dying. Come on now. They need dialysis. How many will repeat it? They need the mechanical way of forcing those things out of them so they can stay alive. But you see, a cow may here consume about 20 pounds and discharges about 14 pounds according to the blessing available to him in discharges. And a cat is here, a cat, a little pushy cat, takes in about 0.5 pounds a day and discharges 0.01 to the level of what he consumes. That's why many believers are properly dead. Why yet they leave? The and then the boss. <laughs> you know, it's, you know. Welcome to the moment of truth. It's Friday today, 20, 23rd of August, 2024. My people, my people, hmm. you just heard Bishop Oyedepo saying that you, the more money you give to God, the longer you live. So, he said that almost 15 years ago. And because he's been boasting that we are too small to sponsor the ministry. I've, I've done a video about it. And he also said that he never asks anybody for money. He never touch church money or anything. What he was saying that what he was saying is that nobody contributed to his riches. So he's been preaching this um, gospel of Mama for over forty years. So people got tired and they started dogging up all his old videos. So this is one of them. And I want to prove to you and some of you that will come to fight for them that it is another gospel. We know that Moses was one of the great leaders that God used mightily to lead the Israelites. And each time, you can you go, please read this in the book of Exodus 16. Each time they needed food, water, clothing and all that, they will go to Moses. And Moses will go to God. Okay? And you know when they left, um, when they left Egypt, they left with a lot of things. Gold, silver and all that. Moses didn't color be anything, no, from them, no. Instead, he was crying to God on their behalf. Taking their request to God, and God answers Moses. So why now that all your pastors, they always ask their followers for money, 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 money. They are a can. They are a can of our time. And you could see why the whole world is in trouble, especially Nigeria. Why darkness took over Nigeria? Because we have a can. A can among us. In the Bible, when God gave instruction that no one should take from the spoil they collected from uh, the fall of Jericho. You know that man, a can. He went and stole gold, whatever, stole a lot of things. And kept it in his camp. Nobody knew. Because of that, God anger. God anger was on the Israelites. So God just took because the, the, the eyes of God cannot behold iniquity. So he just took his, his face 
of the Israelite. He was only one a Kano. As a result, you know how many Israel died in the war because God didn't go with them. And when Joshua cried, God, what happened? And God said, Israel have sinned. Only one they can then know. And a lot of Israelites perished. Innocent people perished. Now that you have more than one a can in our camp, all your pastors, they raise a can. They're stealing from poor. They are in opposition to God. That's why we are facing all these troubles. And they are, they are, they are not ready to repent. Unless, un, until Joshua rose up. Joshua had to go and fish out a can. And what did they do to a can? Hey, what did they do to a can? Until we declare the judgment of a can upon all your pastors. There be no peace, oh. What we are seeing now is, is, is the anger of God, though. God have allowed the enemies to be destroying the innocents and everybody because of all the Achans in our midst. And the Joshua that's supposed to stood up, they are busy protecting all these Achans. That is to clarify what... Um, uh, is saying in that video. Now we will move to another video. Stay tuned till the end. It's for you today. He says, Son, I will be your source. From now on, my Father, my God, will be your source. And then he proved it. You see the contradiction. Is God told him that he will be his source. Then he now told his congregation that his father will be their source. How? God told you he will be your source. Why are you collecting money in billions from people? Why? If God say you will be your source. That's, that's the contradiction and the Momo are saying amen. How is God going to be their source? Without work, without job? How? In a very, very special way. In a way I can never forget. I traveled through America and if you know me, when I go to any nation because I, I have limited time, I'm booked back to back, back to back. By the grace of God, he has provided me with a jet, and you know that. And so we've just finished ministry in one place, and we were to fly to the next town. We were already inside. We were about to take off. They wanted to close the door of the plane when something began to smoke. And when they see smoke, <laughs> On the ground, they thank God. Because in the sky, there's no parking space. <laughs> so we had to descend back. By the time we were uh, getting on the plane, the people in the next place, in the next town where I was to minister, were already gathering. Came out of the plane, there were no uh, commercial plane traveling until around four o'clock. And I needed to be in the other place by 10. Oh God, what am I going to do? And then all of a sudden, my son came to me and said, Daddy, I, I can see a jet on the, on the tarmac. I recognize that jet. I I think I might know the owner. While he was talking, the pilots of that jet came 
and he met them. I said, ah, Daddy Gio, he said, ah, so they all came. <laughs> hello, Daddy, hello, Daddy. Uh, where is your boss? He's, to cut a long story short, I needed a jet to move me to the next place of assignment. And one was already waiting before my own gave trouble. In the name that's above every other name, from now on, before your problem surface, God would have provided the solution. Because he's the all-sufficient God. Has that prayer yet been answered? It's almost 10 years ago. Let me know in the comment section. You know, Arakwa told us yesterday that they don't need to pray in the name of Jesus. All they have to do is to think kids and it will happen. I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. Know God for your. Safe.